Okay guys, uh, simple lesson today. Uh, today we're working on some properties of multiplication. And properties are just like another word for rules. And these rules will work every single time. So I'm gonna teach you about two rules. It's just about, honestly, as easy as it gets. Uh, the first one is called the zero property of multiplication, which means anything times zero is zero every time like eight times zero 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 times six zero one million times zero zero so anything times zero is zero eight times zero 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 times 17 zero so what it means is zero groups of 17 so you have none or eight groups of zero are none Six times zero, zero. Zero times eight, zero. Seven times zero, zero. Nine hundred and ninety-nine times zero, zero. So basically it's just like the number of groups, zero. So you have no groups of 17, so you have none. Or you have eight groups of zero, and any group of zero is just, well, that's zero. Easy enough, huh? So our next one is going to be called the identity property. Say identity property. So the identity property is just a fancy word, it's a fancy name for something called the ones property. Basically all it means is any number times one is that number. It's like a mirror image, right? You walk into the bathroom, you're in the mirror, you're looking in the mirror, you're looking at yourself. So that's what identity means. You're looking at like yourself. So like three times one is just three. So any number times one is itself. So like three groups of one is three or one group of six, it's just the other number, six. Seven times one, so it's seven one time, so it's just seven. 18 times one, it's just the other number, 18. Blank times one is nine. Well, only num one number would make sense. Like, what times one is nine? That uh, would have to be nine, because nine times one is nine. That's the only number that would work there. 181 times one? What's well, 181? One time, so it's just 181. Pretty simple. So, basically, anything times zero is zero. Anything times one is one, and if they meet each other, like one times, it's anything times one is itself. So if zero times one, it'll always be zero, because it's the other number, or a zero. So anything times zero is zero, anything times one is itself. That's it, pretty simple, right? Uh, so today is 2-3 part one, nice and easy, and we're gonna do a little bit more review of the other stuff um, too. By now, you should be really solid by counting by those twos and fives. Count by twos to 24 with me. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And go by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Practice them, get good at them. Practice go faster, 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 faster. The faster you get, the better you'll be. You're gonna rock this thing. All right, guys, enjoy your day.